After years of construction but slow progress, more Siouxland communities are now online to receive improved water quality. KCAU 9 reporter Dylan Adams was on hand today as community leaders from Sioux Center and Hull celebrated another connection on the Lewis and Clark Water Project. It's our top story tonight at 10. Tim and Sophie, the Lewis and Clark Regional Water System Project, which was established to bring clean water from the Missouri River to communities across Iowa, South Dakota, and Minnesota, is nearing its final stage, as the completion of the Golden Spike Milestone happened here in Lebanon, about 10 miles west of Sioux Center. It's a supply that we didn't have in Iowa before of something that's, um, that's a finite resource. Murray Holstein has been serving on the board of directors for the LNC system since talks of the pipeline project began more than 30 years ago in 1990. Sioux Center, where Holstein serves as utilities manager, was one of the first members to the system, which now includes communities in Iowa, South Dakota, and Minnesota. Construction officially began in 2004, and currently 15 of the 20 communities are receiving water. Recently, the aforementioned Golden Spike completed the 33-mile route between Beersford and Sioux Center, and Holstein says it won't be long until his city's water quality will improve, with the line expected to be operational by spring 2023. As I indicated, the uh, water supplies aren't that great in northwest Iowa, so this will, these, um, these supplies will definitely um, enable us to continue the, the um, growth that we've had in the past and um, into the future for uh, um, hopefully generations. When first negotiating with the Bureau of Reclamation about authorizing the water system during the Clinton administration, many didn't realize the demand for water would be so high so soon. But with Sioux Center's population climbing by more than a thousand people over a decade, Holstein says the need for more supply is a pressing issue, not one for the future. During this past year, almost all the members were setting records of, for water usage. So, you know, that's due to uh, growth and, uh, you know, the uh, uh, lack of rainfall. Because the need for sustainable water is growing in places like Sioux Center and Hull, Holstein says there's already progress being made on increasing the water capacity made available by the pipeline over the coming years. Reporting in Lebanon, Iowa, Dylan Adams, KCAU 9 News.